Hi, Dia Irby here, your local community leader and real estate agent, here to introduce you to another neighbor, someone that's making a difference in your area, in the Bull City. Listen up and see what they have to say. Today I'm interviewing Patrick from Millennium Sports Club. Help me welcome Patrick. Thank you, welcome, having me, and thank you. I look forward to doing this together. Yes, we're going to have a fun time. Now, I'm asking all of my guests, my featured business owners, uh, a couple of one, two, three questions. And the first question is, what is a myth people have about a sports club or a workout or a gym place that you want to bust for us? You want to set the record straight? <laughs> well, a, a, lot of, a lot of people think it's a lot easier to start a routine oh yes a lot of people have the misconception that i'm gonna go to the gym i have 10 pounds to lose i'm just gonna do this 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 and this and it'll come off but what you feel is it takes three things it's your cardiovascular aspect of it it's your nutrition aspect of it it's your weight training aspect of it it's not just just coming in walk on the treadmill and that's it there's a three basic that you need to get to your results and i think a lot of people think also it's very easily to come off. And it takes you about a year or two to get in the way. It's probably going to take you two to three months to lose all of it. Wow. That is an important thing. So all those people that make their New Year's resolutions, do you have a big surge in membership at the beginning of every year? We do. Uh, <laughs> Pre-COVID, the beginning of every year, we you can do anywhere between 100 to 200 memberships within that six weeks period. But what happens is a lot of the people come in expecting all this weight loss so quickly. And then when it doesn't happen, they quit. But they have a, they have a year membership to pay for. So you're quitting something within a month, but you have, you're locked in for 12 months. Well, maybe they'll change their minds and come back, right? Yeah, the next year. The next year. <laughs> 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 yeah that uh, that's interesting how long have you had uh the millennium sports how long has it been there and um, have you is it do you own it or you run it what's I your do, position i, own it. I uh, my wife and i own this business and it's been about uh, almost 10 years but i've been with the millennium as a company about 18 years so this is another location you started somewhere else uh i started actually i started Chapel Hill, then came to Durham, then stayed in Durham. We used to be on Hillendale Road, then we moved to this location about uh, 13 years ago. Wow. Well, you have picked a great place. I know I enjoy coming and working out. Got to get my workouts. So the next question, two fun facts. Tell us two fun facts or maybe two terms that you need to that you know and that maybe people that come to the gym know often but other people might not know in terms of like goals to what gym or or, or, or fun facts like well you kind of told us some the that i don't know how fun it is but you can't just come and work out <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, everything is a process. You know, all, a lot of people just feel to realize it's a process. And another thing to always tell people too, when you join a facility, you get this free training sessions. Use them to learn about the machines, set up a workout. These are the things that are there, but a lot of members don't take advantage of it. I'll say maybe a third take advantage of it. 70% of them don't. I don't know if they know about it, but they just don't take advantage of it. Because when you join, it is offered to you. So let me ask this, um, which is sort of related to that. Do you get more, and I know the answer already, do you get more <laughs> benefit or progress if you're working with someone? Yes. Also, team it up. Like, it doesn't have to be a trainer, but just have someone in your system that you guys push each other. That makes a big difference. You don't have a girlfriend or a husband or just a friend. Just coming in and just say, hey, you know what? We're going to do this together. I'm going to hold you accountable. You're going to hold me accountable. That helps a lot. Well, I know when I'm in there, there's this group and they know each other and they're laughing and they're doing stuff together. So, and that's, yeah, yeah. that's Jill, Jill and Belina. It's four of them. Yeah, yeah. Two African-American lady and two Caucasian lady. They all be friends. We've all known each other for about 17, 18 years. 
and they've all stuck together, which is awesome. So it's like, it's like a family. One of the best reasons why uh, we decided to purchase this area, it's because of the family atmosphere. Everybody know each other, everybody talks to each other. Most of the people go to the same church, all the kids go to the same school. So you see each other change over the years and it's a beautiful thing. It is, and that is why I am wanting to promote this community website. Well, so thank people, you. So people can find out about the people in the neighborhood. So we can come together as a community. And the more we know people and know of people, the more comfortable and secure we feel, just like all your friends that you've had for a long time. Correct. And I do appreciate this a whole lot. You don't even know how much this will help me because of what I've dealt with in terms of the pandemic. It's just, this is like gravy. It's just perfect. And I do appreciate this a lot. Oh, my pleasure. And of course, I'm also here uh, to help people with anything they need to know about the market. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Well, well also, we could use you as an example of what you've done to yourself. Um, you know, watching you go through the whole year, watching the changes. I mean, you stuck with it. You have a routine. I know I work to you so, with some of your workout stuff, but you stuck to it and you've changed. So you are the face of the gym also. Well, I appreciate you giving me my routine. You know, I know what I'm doing. I go in, I do my treadmill, I do all my different machines that you told me. And of course I'm multitasking. You might see me with my headphones and my phone. I'm on morning calls with- I do, I do, I hear you sometimes. I do hear you sometimes. Uh, I gather at uh, 7.30 to 8.20 with a thousand real estate agents all over the United States and Canada. And wow. then I do another call with about 200 and we have script practice and, and learning how to bring the best to our clients. So if, you, if I don't really speak to you or if I just do this, that's because I'm I'm listening to my... Oh, no, no, no. I've seen you a bunch of times and I know a lot of times you got stuff going on. That's why I just wave and keep walking because you usually make comments or you all in the zone and it's, <laughs> it's great. It's great. It works for you. The way it's, it's coming up, you look great. So something is working. Well, and so the third question is three tips or tricks like do you have uh and we we already had kind of talked about it the uh of how to get the job done in terms of your fitness goals Getting, yourself yes setting goals or reaching goals or um just what are some ways that some tips for people to take the make the most out of your uh, fabulous gym? One, join the facility. You have to join. That's Once true. You join, yes. When you get charged every month for something, you're going to use it. That's the accountability part. Two, when you do join, take advantage of everything, the classes, the chop, everything the gym has to offer because it will benefit you. Number three, hold yourself accountable. Accountable. Come, you don't have to be five days a week. You say two days a week, start with two days a week, or it could be three days a week. And I also, yeah, limit your goals to I'm just gonna lose a pound a week. Instead of I wanna lose 20 pounds or 30 pounds in one month, a pound a week, a pound and a half. Little baby steps, and you will enjoy it. That way, you don't starve yourself. You don't have to feel like you, you, you have to go through all these headaches and strain. A pound a week, a pound a week, and evidently after three months, you're like, wow, look where I'm at. 15 pounds is gone. Wow. It's, it's a process. Um, do you have, um, I know that exercise alone, it may get you in shape, may help your heart rate, but it's not alone going to help you lose the weight. Do you have a nutritional plan or can you help people uh, on that avenue or have you partnered with someone? Yes. Uh, actually, we do have a dietitian on staff, Lori. She's been with us the whole time. And she, everybody that joins, and Shelly, uh, a lot of our seniors, which do, you know, they retired, a lot of them at home, they're ready to snack. So we always let them know that your insurance actually pays for this. A lot of people don't know that. The insurance actually pays for them to be with the dietitian. So it's there. We offer it to people, but a lot of people don't take advantage of it. But it's, it's there. So the dietitian is here, the trainers are here, and the facility, the sports club is here for you too. 
So you got three things you can take advantage of. Wow. I mean, it's a great place. And I see people Thank being you. helped a lot, especially Silver Sneakers program. That's the program you're talking about, right? The Silver yeah, Sneakers. Yeah, yeah. We have about 880 uh, seniors in that program. Yeah. Well, I see them checking the in and they have their little chart and they have somebody helping them and they're uh, walking and making sure. I mean, it's 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 a fabulous service. And uh, what, I mean, you're, you're going to live longer if you're healthier. Correct. Not only that, we also have a program that's PTSD for the military guys. So you see a lot of the guys that come here are veterans with PTSD. So when they come in, they have uh, nurses and physical therapists that work with them on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays on helping them with their PTSD. Exercise helps with that. So a lot of people, it's not all about weight loss, mental part of it too. So these veterans, which is about 150 of them, do come to our facility and we offer that free membership to their spouses also. So not only are we taking care of our regular people, our seniors, we also take care of our veterans too. That is such a great gift to them. They've given so much for us and it's true, when you exercise, I'm gonna get all scientific on you. That's Happy okay. chemicals are released in your mind. <laughs> that is true, I mean, it's the truth. It's, it's when you're happy, everything goes well. When you're the good, That's right. mood, everything goes down. I mean, so there are, exercise, yeah. what is it, endorphins and endorphins, yeah, yeah. that yeah. are really released in your brain. So you can, you can leave happier if you go work out. You also feel accomplished. I know that I set a goal of three times a week. And this morning, I have to be honest, it was hard to get out, but I'm thinking, you know what? I don't know what the rest of the week's gonna look like. I've got to get out and do this. And you just got to get that one first foot on the floor. And that's then it. Go. Once you walk through that door, that's it. That's I always right. tell people the first thing is the gym. The other thing is lifting the weights. You know, just come in. Once you come in, you will do something. Right. And in our particular time that we have now, I will say that you are very careful to keep it sanitized. Everyone that comes in gets to have their very own spray to spray down things and their very own cleaning rag. And correct, correct. I, I, I'm sure I that think, it's cut yeah. down a number of colds and right. other diseases. Oh yeah, I, I haven't even know what the flu or the cold look like in about two or three years, but that is not my idea. I don't want to take that away. Now, that came from my staff. They did all that, that was their idea. I just look good, but they did all that work. That was not me, but uh, the staff came up with the idea and it's been great. It has been, or sometimes you forget and you're gonna take it home with you, but you can always come back and return it. Like Are we talking about somebody that we know? Oh, I don't know. It might have happened to somebody we know. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, uh, let's wrap this up. It's been fabulous. Um, yeah. Let's end with what's one thing you love about your job and then one thing you really appreciate about the community, the area and where you are. So what do you love about the job you do, your business? I, I love this job because, uh, first of all, my background is in electrical and computer engineering. That's okay, what wait, I wait, for. Stop, wait, electrical engineering? Electrical and computer engineering, that's my background. But uh, my, I moved back to Durham after I left high school because my father was sick, so I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I decided to do prerequisite courses to go to medical school or physical therapy school. While I was doing that, I picked up this job, side job as a trainer at uh, Chapel Hill. And then I fell in love with the whole atmosphere of helping people. I was like, huh, this looks cool and I make money. So I just, I love the results. See the smile on people's face, see what I do. And to me, I get to make money doing what I love to do. So it was like, I forget about medical school. This is great. So that's, that's how I ended up coming to this. And I said, I can take it to a different level by owning my own business, having no gym, and this, the rest is history. Well, I tell you, when your attitude and your passion and the fact that you're getting to live what you love, it it radiates in the Correct. facility, all through the gym. You, you feel like it's a happy place. 
And that is true, but that's people like you though. You guys come in, you chat with each other, you say hi. So I I believe it get the benefits, but it's actually you guys. You know, because of the community you guys know each okay. other. It's because of you. I'm just look good. You guys make me look good. <laughs> well, you give us a great place to look good. And so Thank what you. is it you love about this area? You said you moved back because your dad was uh, needed you, but and so you're from the area originally? No, I just I only went to uh, school, high school here for like a year. But I, I'm actually, my background, I was born in a different country, which is in Sierra Leone, West Africa. Yeah, so that's that, that's where I came from. And my parents, uh, we were, had a civil war. So my parents gave me the life to come here and start all over again. And Durham's been home since we came to this country. So I always felt like I'm going to end up here because I'm the only child. Sooner or later, something's going to happen to my parents. I will oh be pulled back. And the community has been beautiful. Durham has grown well. Like both of my kids were born here. My wife uh, from Maryland, we turned Durham into a home. We met in Chapel Hill, but we ended up deciding to move to Durham because how diverse the area is and how easy it is to access everything. My oh. kids both play sports, so it's easy to travel, go through the traffic. Durham is growing it. My business did well before COVID and we're growing back again slowly. So I love Durham, Durham has been good to me. It, it is a great place. I have lived all over the South. Now, I had a hint that you weren't from the South, just from listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I give it away. It was that easy. <laughs> you gave it away. But I, uh, I, you probably can tell I'm from the South. How's your mom and him? So, correct, correct, correct. <laughs> I love the South. That's one of the reasons I love about it is the hospitality and the accent. It's great. Yes. Well, <clears throat> I've lived all over the place and I do love Durham. We've lived near Atlanta and <sighs> it takes you an hour to get out of your driveway in Atlanta. Correct. But Correct. like you said, in our area, there are so many fabulous opportunities, businesses, community leaders, events, opportunities yes. everywhere that you can get to easily in this area. And it's, and it's more than you'll maybe... A big city offers more things, but we've got all that a person can fill their calendar with right here. You have everything here. I mean, everything you need. You're two or three hours away from the beach, two or three hours from the mountains. I mean, you can't beat that. Yeah, exactly. It's so comfortable. Exactly. So uh, thank you for this opportunity to visit with you and uh, let people get to know you and hear what you have to offer. And I'll be seeing you around at the well, gym. I, I hope to see you at the gym tomorrow, but I want to say thank you for this opportunity. I really, really am gracious about this. Thank you for giving this chance to put myself out there and put Millennium out there. And look forward to working with you. Derm has been good to me and be blessed. And hopefully we can continue this for another 15 to 20 years. I love it. I love it. I, right. I hope Thank I'm still you. working out in 15 years. <laughs> you will be. You will be. Trust me. We have a lot of 90 year olds here. You're going to be doing the same. Okay, okay. Well, thanks. And we'll Thank see you. you later. Thanks. All right, bye. Thanks again. Until next time, see you around the city.